Welcome to part 7, which is networking player movement. Okay, first of all, just check that you do have the network identity attached with local player authority checked. Now we'll edit the player controller script. Okay, so we have to make this network aware. So first of all, add in the unity engine dot networking namespace. So the networking code is inside of here and inherit from network behavior instead and an update, a special bit of code, if not is local player, then return. So I get out of this method. And that's it. So this is automatically happening in the background. The network manager defines who the local player is. So when I join a game, I'm in control of my player, and it's flagged as the local player. So with this code, I'll control my player, but not all the other ones in the scene. Okay, and then I'll just add a uh, network transform component. That's it. Okay, and then in the next video, I'll launch the game and see how it looks.